Hello, Glass here. Super Metroid and Link to the Past. In the last part, we killed Dragon. That was pretty neat, considering I don't have speed or ice. Not that ice would help me in any way with getting to Dragon. <laughs> Wouldn't know what to do with it. Anyway, I said that we would, like, go to Skull Woods and just do some checks. So that's what's happening. I think what would be really nice would be if I got a gloves upgrade soon. Wouldn't mind a fire rod or mirror or hookshot. There, there are a lot of good Link to the Past items we don't have. But at least we've got swords. Wait, do I... Trying to remember what the good order to do Skull Woods in is. Ow. Big key. Nice. Compass. Okay. Had to be somewhere. I think this will be a small key for sure. And then I just use it to escape upward. Anyway, I'm not gonna try to bomb jump. I'm just gonna do the vanilla route to get to the big chest. Except for the fact that I'm apparently not going to set the star switch correctly. Just walk along the edge. Reserve tank. I think I have three reserve tanks now? Okay, so that was one of the two items in Skull Woods. I can still look in Vanilla Big Key. But I think if that doesn't have the other item, it's either on the boss or at least in that that chest in the, like, you know, the spot that's, like, on the way to the boss. Past. I would need Fire Rod for the other checks. That's what I'm trying to say. Alright, we got a key. Where am I going next? I'm gonna do Gauntlet. We've had everything we needed for a while, and recently got Space Jump, and I'm apparently never gonna remember where the portal between games is. Although I think if I did a save and quit in Link to the Past, and then just reset, I would be back at the ship. Which is actually faster than walking down here. Because of that cross games little Super Metroid save. We have all our hit points because I picked up an E-Tank in Link to the Past.
Did I? I did actually go to Bomb Teresa room, right? Yeah, it's it's mapped. <sighs> Messing up my space jumps. The most free of all gauntlets with this equipment. Silver arrows. And then I, I know nothing necessary is this way, but I'm just gonna grab the armor. I think armor was on the left. Well, if I do this right. Uh, well, hopefully it's on the left. Yeah, okay. Missed out on the super missile pack. Unfortunate, but I don't think I'm ever going back for it. Alright. Oh, yeah. A room I was never able to do because I didn't have... Wait, where is it? Ah, there we go. I was like, how do you get out of here again? Knew there were some uh, crumble blocks. Yeah, I can go get 230 missiles. Which I believe I did not previously. Actually, did I go get the, uh... Now I'm thinking of, like, old... What is it? Blue Brin Star? I might have missed the item... No, I definitely went down there once I had Morph Ball. Never mind. Oh, but I didn't get old mother brain item. Fine. Let's see, I don't have speed booster, so I can't get the item that's to the right in, I think, this spot? I want to get it mapped. I think this area is a possible soft lock if you run out of power bombs. And don't have normal bombs. The net. Doesn't do much, but I'll pick it up. Anything else I want to do down here? Could head to Brinstar. What would I do in Brinstar? Still don't have a speed booster. Just gonna check the map, see if I probably missed anything. I know I went to Billy Mays. Yeah, I definitely went to that room over there. Okay. Oh, what's... what's that? Oh, right, I don't have wave beam still. Okay. I think that's a recharge station over on the far left. I'm not sure what that floating room in the middle of nowhere is. Do I want to just walk all the way to Norfair? Not really. <laughs> but I don't know what else I'm gonna do. What would I even do in Norfair? Could go back to Link to the Past. I 
What would I do in Link to the Past? Let's see, I still don't have Speed Booster. So I, I was just thinking about the, um... The early super missiles that people get in vanilla speedruns. With the mock ball. That's not in Norfair, but I was thinking about it. New bridge. I'm not that bad at Super Metroid. <laughs> did I get everything in Meridia I knew about that I could get? I think so. I did find Mama Turtle Room eventually. Oh, wait a minute. No, there's... There's that room that, that I can't describe in any way. Excellent. Hopefully everyone knows exactly what I'm talking about. But no, you, you like go along the top and then you fall down the left and there are a couple items there. I didn't visit that room. I think it might be at around the spot where I was like, I don't know if I should be going up or right. It's definitely, like, toward the top end of Meridia. Oh, yeah, I could also visit Plasma Room. Which I think is, like, in the same general area as the room I want to go to. And then I think there's also a, a pack to the right. You walk through a wall. Or rather, in vanilla, there's, like, a missile pack there. Maybe it's up from here? Man, sure wish I had high jump. It wouldn't, like, open up anything, but I wish I had it. Wait, what is over here? Is this just the way out of Meridia? I'm not sure. I haven't seen anything one way right yet, though. Oh, yeah. This is just here. <laughs> Noted. It's almost funny how, like, in Link to the Past, you can get around quickly because of warps. In Super Metroid, you can get around quickly because everything's connected to each other besides, like, there's only one way into Lower Norfair. Alright, missile pack. Over here is the direction of the room that cannot be described. Except then I described it. But besides that... Yeah, for some reason I don't know the name of this room. I feel like it must have a good name, though. Huh. Well, here it's the heart room. There isn't, like, a sneaky, like, anything, right? It's only two items in here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's the Billy Mays room. That's the room with some pillars and a sneaky item. Another room that I feel like I should have run into and just didn't, uh, that's in Norfair, is I know there's a room where there's, like, an item at the top left that's really easy to miss, and, like, a bunch of platforms made of crumble blocks. It would be cool if I knew where that was. Also, it would be cool if I had correctly remembered where Plasma Beam was in Vanilla. Oh, it must be up way up at the top there. 
that 2x3 room with the item in the bottom right. For some reason, I thought that room was off of this one. Alright, so where are we going? Wait a minute. Did I just miss seeing a door? In the rooms I was just in? Or do you get there from... After Bot Woon? Oops, should have done it. Well, it was in that area, I guess. Could have gone through the metal door after beating the boss and just gone left and up. But really, it doesn't... I'm gonna go back up. I might have just missed the door. Kinda wish the map showed doors. I mean, I don't see a door, but is there a secret? Secret door right here? No. I'm gonna lay a power bomb just in case. Nope, that's just a wall. Why is there a little extension in the room to the right then? And also, why does this pit exist? To frustrate people without high jump boots, got it. I could still get up to where I want to get up to if I could remember where the tube was. That's sand pit, though. You know, the great tube of Meridia? Where is it? <laughs> Alternatively, come through wrecked ship, forgotten highway, <laughs> with only power bombs, not actual bombs. Sounds terrible. I'd rather go back to Link to the Past and use the the path to near the boss again. Oh well. We'll just hope there's nothing good at Plasma, right? I think there are probably better checks to be doing than going to Plasma Room at any rate, at least for now. Not that I can think of what they are. I'm just hoping they exist, I guess. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> I was gonna say, maybe I actually just go to Misery Mire. That requires going all the way to Lower Norfair. Oh, man, maybe second glove in Misery Mire. Think about it. Could be a thing. Just thinking about if I really do want to go all the way to Lower Norfair again. I mean, I guess. Wait, I don't have speed booster. <laughs> Where do I have wave? <laughs> so I still can't fight Krokemeyer. Unless I'm very wrong again about his position. But I have been wrong about his position already. But surely I could get in in two guesses. Oh, wait, 
right, I'm gonna need another. I guess, let's just double check what's in this room. Okay, this is, yeah, this is Frog Speedway. Wave beam checker. Farming spot. Yes. Just firing a few. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I've. I'm just trying to approximate what I've seen before. I know you need to, like, be moving forward, which I think changes the speed of your missile so that you just, like, barely clip it through. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, <laughs> man, I really wish I had charge now, though. Hmm, I'm not opposed to the idea of saving and also getting a couple more super missiles. If I just had enough super missiles, that means I actually could do a green gate glitch. I I assume it's the exact same setup. Oh, don't stand that close. Got it. <laughs> no, actually, I didn't learn anything. Yeah, when he opens his mouth, you can get a missile and a super missile in. If you're good. He does walk farther back the more damage you do to the inside of his mouth. Thought he was going to die, so I wasn't ready to shoot. Oh, really? <laughs> yep, you're burning or whatever. Got it. Something in the top left here. Ah, take some of that. Still don't have charge beam. Getting to the point though where if I had all my ammo, I'd be willing to challenge Ridley. I could hit two-thirds of my supers on him. Or wait, does he need 30 or 40? Yeah, that's enough farming. <laughs> wait. I'm not sure which way I want to go. I think this I'm gonna run in- yeah. I don't feel like doing that since I don't have to. Let's just go the actual, like, normie route. After checking what's over here? Is this a dead end with an item? Yeah.
But we're on our way to vanilla grapple beam. I just don't quite remember how much is on the way. Oh yeah, there's Indiana Jones missiles. Named because you get them by swinging across a couple things. I think. And they are in fact missiles. Oops. Messed up my base jump timing. Money! Alright, and then we come up here and we grapple our way across the top. Yeah, very good. And then we can just hit the green gate from the correct side. Or wait, this is somewhere else. Where's that green gate go? Or, no, I think we're just still on the way. I didn't realize how far we fell down that giant shaft. Alright, some nice grappling here. Actually, let's, let's actually do a grapple. Wow! Okay, I believe that's everything from the Krokomire area. I believe none of it was required items. Cool. Where did I- did I get a link to the past item? I don't think I got anything besides hearts. Well, we did it, and don't need to ever come back here to do it. Uh... Wait. Why is there... a marking on the map still that I... I went all the way to the item over here, right? Does the map just not scroll while Krokemeyer's dying? I was like, why is it still blue? <laughs> Alright, sure. It's just an energy recharge station to the right. Very useful if you're hell running the area. Not very useful if you're immune to damage. And yeah, part of why I was willing to attempt the glitch to begin with is I knew I wouldn't need to do it on the way back. Because the gate's actually facing that direction. Imagine. Alright, I guess if I do head back to... The portal to Link to the Past. There's no chance I die to Golden Terizo because he's already dead. Oh, you don't even need to. Oh, but, okay. Understood. <laughs> now with screw attack, I don't even need to fear their fireballs. Save our data, though. Lower Norfair, bit scary. Although I do have, like, everything I need. <laughs> I guess I should be ending the video, though. So in the next part, I guess I'll head right in Lower Norfair. That might be a better play than heading into Link to the Past. But anyway, see ya!